Good morning student. Today I will discuss another important plane x-ray of lower limb and this plane x-ray is a region around the ankle joint and also the foot. In this particular film we can see there are two x-rays this one and another one and this view is a plane x-ray around the ankle joint in anteroposterior view and this one is a plain x-ray of course but in lateral view. What we can see in this x-ray film? Here we can see this is the lower end of the tibia and this is a projection from the lower end called medial malleolus and this is fibula lateral bone of the leg and this projection from the lower end of the fibula is called lateral malleolus. And here is the body of the talus. The lateral view we can see this is talus. In the talus this part is the body, then neck, then head. So this body of the talus, its superior surface, here it forms the ankle joint. So what are the bones forming the ankle joint? The ankle joint proximally it is formed by the inferior surface, this one inferior articular surface of the lower end of the tibia and also the lateral surface of the medial malleolus, this one. So, this is continuous surface and on this side it is a articular facet on the medial surface of the lateral malleolus of fibula and distally this is the upper surface or called trochlear surface of the body of the talus. So, these three bone form the ankle joint. So, this ankle joint is a synovial joint and you know if the joint is formed by more than two bones, it is called the compound synovial joint and subtype is hinge joint. Approximately it is uniaxial. Though it is a simple hinge joint, its axis of rotation is dynamic, shifting during dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the foot. And another important term is usually asked what is tibio fibular mortis. And what is mean by mortis? Mortis means it is a deep recess. And this deep recess is designed to receive a corresponding projection so as to lock the two parts of the joint. Here the mortis is formed or tibiofibular mortis is formed by this one. What is this one? So this is a depression or recess, deep depression or recess and it is formed by the articular surface of the tibia, both its inferior surface and this lateral surface of the medial malleolus of the tibia and on this side this is the facet on the medial side or medial surface of the lateral malleolus. So, this whole thing it forms the deep recess or the mortis and along with this tibia and fibula another important structure take part in the formation of the mortis is the inferior transverse tibio fibula ligament. So, these two bones and one ligament that is inferior transverse tibio fibula ligament form this deep recess to accommodate or to receive this superior surface of the body of the talus to form the ankle joint. Next, you can see the two malleoli. Of these two malleoli, are both these malleoli are at the same level? Obviously, no. You can see this tip of the lateral malleolus, it is at a lower level than the tip of the medial malleolus. How much? The tip of the lateral malleolus, it is about 2 centimeter below the tip of the medial malleolus. And here also you can see one translucent or radiolucent area which is black, this one. What is this one? This is a joint space. We know any joint space, it looks black. The lower end of the fibula, the center which is the secondary center which ossifies after birth 
it appears at about first to second year after birth. Similarly, the epiphysis for the lower end of the tibia, it also appears at about first to second years after birth. But the union between the diaphysis and the aphysis occurs in case of fibula at the age of 15 to 17 year. But for the tibia, it is about 17 to 18 year. Sometimes one question is asked how the law of ossification is violated in case of fibula because the fibula it violates the laws of ossification. What is the laws of ossification? The law of ossification says that the epiphyseal center which appears first unites last. We know the fibula having two ends, upper end and lower end. Of these two ends, the center appears first in the lower end. But by law, it should unite with the diaphysis at a later age because the law is the center which appears first unites last. But in case of fibula, though the center for the lower end it appears about 1 to 2 years, it unites with the diaphysis at about 15 to 17 years. But for the upper end, the center appears at about 3 to 4 years and it unites about 17 to 19 years. So, here the center appears first and unites first, not unites last. So, it is a violation of law for the lower end of the fibula. I am showing you another extra plate. Yes, it is another extra plate. This is lateral view, this is anteroposterior view. Here you can see this is the joint space, radiolucent or black area. And here you can see another radiolucent line, this one. This is the epiphyseal plate. This is the diaphysis of the tibia and this is the epiphysis for the tibia. So, in between these diaphysis and epiphysis, it is the epiphyseal cartilage or epiphyseal plate. And in case of fibula also, we can see here is a line or epiphyseal plate between the diaphysis and the epiphysis. So, this looks black because of the cartilage. So, this is epiphyseal line for the tibia, epiphyseal line for the fibula. But one thing it can be observed that this epiphyseal line, it, it is in the line with the joint space of the ankle joint, this one. But in case of tibia, this epiphyseal plate, it is at upper level about 1.25 cm above the joint space of the ankle joint, this one. So, what may be the age of this, this person? We know the union occurs between 15 to 17 years for the lower end of the fibula. But here we can see yet not united. So, the age should be below 15 years. In the lateral view also, we can see this line. This is the epiphyseal plate for the tibia. And in this film, the fibula and tibia, they are superimposed. The behind is the fibula and this is the tibia. So, they are superimposed. But in this X-ray film, here there is no such epiphyseal line in the lower end of tibia and fibula and lower end of tibia and fibula, no such epiphyseal line. That means here the diaphysis and epiphysis they are united. So, union is completed at the lower end of fibula and lower end of tibia. So, the age should be above 17 to 18 years of this particular patient. And here another joint is there called inferior tibiofibular joint. In the inferior tibiofibular joint, this is a fibrous joint and syndesmosis type of fibrous joint. 